I'd like to welcome you uh, all to this event, particularly Cong Congressman McGovern, uh, uh, Dr. Mo Dixon of the um, Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging. I always want to make sure I get that name right. Uh, it's a long name. Uh, and he's the president and CEO of the agency and our partner. I've, I've learned this throughout my years and, and definitely from our dental uh, program uh, fa faculty and students here. The importance of dental health to your overall health. Uh, it affects a lot more than just your teeth. It has uh, implications for your heart, for kidney, for other areas. And providing, making sure that people have access to good dental health becomes essential to your overall health. Uh, any kind of infections or other things can lead to a lot of complication. Um, and sometimes uh, that people don't have good access to a lot of this uh, uh, programs or dental health. I can talk a little bit about it from my own experience. As a child in Cuba, um, dental uh, programs there and uh, at the time in the uh, mid-60s uh, uh, were being affected significantly all the, the programs by the blockade that the United States had imposed and there was limited resources and I remember it was very difficult to get appropriate dental care even though I did uh, manage to get some. When I came to the United States I was in a inner city neighborhood, my family did not have a lot of resources and going to the uh, dentist was an ordeal for me. And let me tell you why. First of all, because we didn't have a lot of resources. We went to this black market dentist that worked out of their garage, who were people who had come uh, from other countries, uh, of Cuba and other uh, Latin American countries. And he, this man has set up, you know, got an old chair in his garage, didn't have anesthesia or anything. He had been a dentist somewhere, and he had this old, uh, drill that basically almost was like a foot pump drill <laughs> that felt like some sort of torture. So as a child to me it was trauma going to a dentist. Any kind of the cleaning, the, the, the type of uh, dental care uh, was awful and I, I really struggled going. As a matter of fact when we finally were able to afford going to a dentist that actually had anesthesia it was like oh my god this is so much better and excellent. And that makes me think, how many people are in that situation where they can't afford good dental uh, care, where they might not be able to access uh, the help that they need to be able to uh, succeed, um, to be able to uh, go on and, uh, and feel comfortable uh, and not be afraid, not only of the procedures, but of the cost, uh, which for a lot of the um, seniors, a lot of the poor people in our community, is absolutely uh, prohibitive. Um, so our dental program here uh, began in 1972 and in 1999 it was completely renovated and hopefully in the next few years we'll do a little bit more of that. We did finish a new dental lab that's state-of-the-art for our students uh, uh, to be able to uh, expand their training and uh, learn the more uh, current procedures. And our dental health clinic is a valuable resource for our community. Uh, a lot of low-income people come and delivers dental care for many who otherwise could not afford it. The clinic serves everyone, children, adults, and seniors. We have dental seal program for the kids, we work with adults that and have sufficient resources, and we work uh, with seniors. And actually the cost for uh, many of them is only $20. We have dentists that actually will send patients here to get some of the basic treatment because uh, they don't have the insurance, they can't afford uh, to get the, the x-rays or uh, the cleanings or some of the treatments that are provided in our clinic, so they take advantage of coming here to have access to that uh, program. But $20 can still be uh, quite a bit for some people. For some seniors, it might be the difference of a copay for a prescription or even uh, making sure they have enough food uh, uh, on a given time, a day, and they might postpone it. So I think this is going to make uh, a difference. Um, in 2020, and 
uh, through July of 2021, the clinic saw approximately 182 seniors aged 55 and above and approximately 165 new patients of all ages. Even during the pandemic with uh, increased safety protocols, we're able to continue serving our community because that's what our commitment is, to serve the, the community and to help. Um, we also um, um, recognize that uh, the hundreds of dollars that uh, would cost for a uh, to go to traditional health that is not covered by insurance uh, it's a barrier and part of what we're trying to do is remove barriers to our community to uh, the access not only education but also things like health care and other uh, types of programs to serve our community uh, a 2016 report by UMass Commonwealth Health found that Data consistently show as well that black Americans and, and um, Hispanics have a higher prevalence of dental decay and lower annual rates of utilizing dental care. Again, I think back to my childhood days where we didn't have the access uh, and uh, going to a uh, dentist was traumatic and um, we had to put it off many times because of the cost uh, and trying to make those uh, difficult decisions. Do you get proper dental care or do you pay the rent or do you take uh, your medications or do you put food on the table? So that is why I'm excited to announce that Quincy Gilman Community College is partnering with the Central Massachusetts Agency of Aging to offer the Central Massachusetts Senior Dental Clinic, a free preventive dental care program for 55 plus diverse population of seniors living in the Central Massachusetts um, uh, region. I know when Dr. Dixon came to me and uh, we started talking about partnering, uh, it was an easy decision to make. It was needed. We uh, wanted to make good use of some of the resources that we had gotten uh, from ARPA and uh, from the federal government. And thank you, Congressman McGovern, for your um, work on those acts and getting resources uh, to our community and community colleges and others to do this kind of work. Now, QCC has agreed to match 50% of the total 60,000 American Rescue Act funding uh, through the CMAA to cover the cost of operating the clinic. And this is coming also from our institutional um, operating, do QCC's operating dollars. Uh, QCC is investing more than ever in our community engagement, in partnerships, in many areas, not just in dental care. We're identifying Worcester and central Massachusetts populations that need post-secondary education workforce training, and other types of assistance like this program that benefits our students because they're learning the skills, working with actual people. They're serving the community in which they will eventually enter into service, and they are also uh, helping the most vulnerable in our community, uh, seniors, the low-income uh, community, black, Latino, and other uh, uh, minoritized population. So this is an essential partnerships, and I'm really excited about the work that we're doing. I really take to heart the notion that a community college, you know, we have community in the name, is part of the community. That we are not just a college in Worcester, but we are Worcester's college that we belong to the city, we belong to our community, and we work in partnership with our community to help everyone succeed by accessing education and accessing resources like our dental clinic. And that truly uh, excites me. And, um, um, and it's something that is uh, really meaningful to me, coming from um, an impoverished childhood, being a first generation college student, I know how much we're impacting these communities. I've lived through it, and I know that it'll make a difference, and I'm proud to be part of the college, of this partnership, and this work um, to help us um, do uh, more work. Um, and now, I'm honored to introduce Dr. Moses Dixon, Moses Dixon, but 
call you Mo. <laughs> um, the president and CEO of the Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging, who will tell you more about this innovative and life-changing program. Okay. Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I'm Dr. Moses Dixon, the President and CEO for the Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging, also known as CMAA. CMAA is the leader in providing information and resources to the 61 cities and towns right here in Central Massachusetts. I want to thank uh, President Padraha and his staff for organizing today's press conference. You know, it was several months ago, as we were all in the thick of the COVID-19 pandemic, that my staff began to document the many challenges facing our seniors right here in central Massachusetts. Challenges such as food insecurity, social and emotional isolation, mental health concerns, grandparents raising grandkids, and yes, the unmet dental care needs. COVID-19 has hit our seniors the hardest in all aspects of their lives. And now that we are merging out of this pandemic, one of the greatest challenges facing our older adults is the lack of accessible and affordable dental care and treatment. President Pedra and I began brainstorming about how QCC and CMAA could partner to address this unmet need. We quickly realized that the dental program here at QCC uh, could meet this unmet need of uh, dental care for our seniors. This funding for this new partnership came from the American Rescue Plan Act, also known as ARPA. Um, also known as ARPA, Congressman McGovern ensured that this funding was included in the final bill supporting the Older Americans Act which supports area agencies on aging, like the Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging. I truly believe that this new partnership uh, between Sigamon Community College and CMAA will be a model for the nation on how to provide affordable, accessible dental care for our older adults. Although we have funding to jumpstart this partnership for the next three years, we invite other donors, other partners to help us grow and expand this program. We also recognize that transportation to and from the clinic can be a problem for many seniors getting to the clinic. And I'm happy to announce that we have established a partnership with the Worcester Yellow Cab Company to ensure that any senior that needs a ride to and from the clinic will be able to receive one. And there's more information about how the seniors can access uh, a ride via Yellow Cab on, on, in the flyers uh, of this new uh, partnership. Now, I want to introduce our next speaker, who is someone that truly cares about our community and cares about our senior citizens. Rather, it's getting food to them through our Meals on Wheels programs or funding for legal services for our seniors. Congressman McGovern has supported us every time we have needed him, and certainly every time that I've reached out to his office, he has responded back quickly. And I want to publicly thank him for advocating for this funding in the final bill under the American Rescue Act. And uh, without further ado, I want to introduce our Congressman, James P. McGovern. Well, thank you, everybody. I'm really, um, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you uh, today to announce uh, the new partnership between Quinn Sigamon Community College and the Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging, which will expand um, access to dental care for low-income seniors here in Worcester and around the region. And um, I want to thank QCC President uh, Luis Pedraja. Uh, you know, he mentioned, uh, he emphasized the word community uh, in QCC's title, Quinn Sigamon Community College. Uh, and, um, and that is, uh, very, very true. This is a, a, an educational institution very much dedicated to this community. I live across the street on Burnco Street, 
Uh, my wife and I have walked around your track with other members of this community. Uh, when my kids were small, we would take them sledding down the uh, hill in the front of, uh, of, the, of the college. Uh, but whether it's a dedication to worker training and retooling, uh, whether it's uh, a dedication to making sure that uh, everybody uh, in our community has an opportunity to get a first-class education, or whether it's about what we're talking about here today. This is, uh, this is not just a college. Um, this is very much part of our community. Uh, and I think I speak for everybody uh, here in the city and in the region when I say thank you. Uh, thank you for caring about uh, all of us here today. It's also great to be here with my friend, uh, Dr. Moses Dixon, uh, and um, you know the, the CEO of the uh, Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging. You know, Dr. Dixon and I have worked together on a lot of different things uh, over the years, um, but it's always about a commitment to uh, uh, equality and justice and fairness uh, and making sure that nobody, uh, especially our senior citizens, get left behind. Uh, and it's also great to be here with QCC Dental Clinic Manager Cheryl Ficarilli, uh, for, and I want to thank uh, her uh, and uh, the entire team uh, for their leadership and vision uh, to bring all this together. You know, as has already been said, far too many seniors, uh, for, for, for far too many seniors, dental services and preventative oral health care are simply out of reach. Uh, this partnership will provide access to critical dental care for seniors here in Central Mass, which is all too often pushed to the back of the priority list due to cost and lack of transportation, leaving many of them to skip uh, it all together. This partnership is going to address both of those issues head on. Uh, earlier this year, um, as was mentioned, uh, Congress passed the American Rescue Plan. Uh, and um, I have to tell you, uh, it was one of the proudest votes that I've cast. Uh, you know, it was designed to respond to all the challenges uh, that came about uh, as a result of this pandemic. Uh, but we have to be honest with ourselves, the inequities, you know, the, the disparities that we are trying to address in the American Rescue Plan, they existed before the pandemic. Um, and so we need to take this moment uh, to not only acknowledge that, but to, um, but to try to fix uh, those disparities and uh, those uh, inequalities. And, uh, and that's what this is all about here today. Uh, I think this law is a perfect example of, of, of how government actually can play a positive role uh, in not only in times of crisis, but in delivering real results uh, for the American people. This will mean something to people here locally. It's not some abstract bill or some abstract concept. Uh, it is real. Uh, the, plan, the plan provided funds to, uh, to rapidly increase vaccinations all across this country, and it put checks in people's pockets. Uh, it provided rental assistance and relief to small businesses. It strengthened anti-hunger programs. Uh, we have a hunger problem in this country. Um, tens of millions of our fellow citizens don't know where their next meal is going to come from. Uh, and there's not a congressional district in America that is hunger free. It also helps school districts deal with the challenges of students returning to the classroom safely. But one of the other key components was funding to, exp was funding to expand and improve preventative health care for seniors. Uh, and a vital part of that is oral health. Dental health is an essential part of overall health, and especially for seniors who have increased risks of tooth decay, tooth loss, and gum disease. These issues just don't cause discomfort, but also increase the likelihood of heart disease, uh, diabetes, pneumonia, and oral cancer. So I am thrilled that the funds for the American Rescue Plan will build on the great dental care being provided here at QCC Dental Hygiene Clinic, who will now offer seniors cost-free dental care uh, for the, at least for the next three years. Uh, and, um, and, and before I go, I just want to uh, thank all the dental professionals and students who are going to provide these vital services. Your work is going to make a huge difference for seniors across the region, uh, and I can't thank you enough. I mean, this is a big deal. 
uh, and um, and I I think for a lot of those who will be able to uh, take advantage of the services that are being offered here today, they will probably be the first to tell you that if we did, if you did not have this, if there wasn't this partnership uh, uh, the, uh, between um, QCC and the Massachusetts uh, Agency on Aging, uh, many of them probably would forego dental care, and that could lead to much more severe and significant health problems. So, um, so this is, I'm happy to be here. All I had to do was walk across the street, although it was tough to get across here with all the, all the, uh, all the uh, construction, but that's a good thing too. But I'm grateful, uh, and again, uh, you know, uh, doctor and doctor, I'm not a doctor, but the two doctors here, thank you very, very much, uh, and I'm happy to be with you. Um, thank you, Congressman McGovern, for all that you do for our community and for the support that's made this uh, possible. Uh, now I would like to um, introduce our dental clinic manager, Cheryl Piccarelli. Good morning, everyone. Um, I ju I'm just going to give you a brief overview of our dental clinic and a little bit about how it runs. Uh, we have 20 units in our clinic, four of which are function as radiology units and also as dental assisting units as well as hygiene. Last year, as Dr. Pedraha mentioned, we were lucky enough to treat 182, approximately 182 seniors as well as other adults. Um, during the pandemic, when we had very heightened amount of security going on, um, and it, we were really proud of that. Um, our t seniors typically find us by word of mouth uh, they also get referred by local dentists who are aware of our program. They're very happy um, to send them to us when they can't afford care in the dental office. Uh, we also, um, our students are very involved with the community and we put out flyers. And I have had seniors come back and say they found us um, through our flyers at the local senior centers. When they retire, the seniors typically lose their dental insurance and they are also living on a limited income. We do have a lot of patients who the $20 is too much. It's too much to spend. So they stop going regularly and they miss out on their preventative treatment. We are able to fill that gap by offering comprehensive assessments, cleanings, x-rays, fluoride treatments, and other services. Um, each patient is treated one-on-one -on -one by a dental hygiene student. They're super supervised directly by a dental hygiene um, faculty who is also a licensed hygienist. And we always have on site a supervising dentist who collaborates with the entire group for each patient's treatment. So it's very well, very heavily supervised to make sure that our patients get excellent care. And our services do fill a big gap in the community, um, as well as offering our students a great hands-on experience, um, which um, gives them the success they need, both in their education and when they go out into the dental community. It's really wonderful. We're so happy for this collaboration. We really are. Um, part of the funding for this program will cover the cost of marketing materials also um, and the translation of documents. Uh, so when a patient comes into our clinic, um, as much as we're trying to be paperless because we're a school, there's a lot of documentation. Um, we are going to get all of our documents translated into any language um, such as Spanish, Vietnamese, and Albanian for our seniors who do not have English as a first language. Um, we also anticipate having student facilitators help with translation during their um, dental appointments 
um, for the people who are not comfortable speaking English. So this is really an amazing program. And we have actually lost patients um, due to the inability to get transportation. So we're super happy that Yellow Cab is involved in this too. Yeah. Um, so at this point, I was going to introduce one of our senior patients, um, but she called us yesterday and she wasn't feeling well. And because of our very strict safety protocols, we asked her not to come to clinic, uh, to come to clinic, to come to today's event. Um, so um, I am very happy to introduce one of our dental hygiene students. She's a senior in our program, Jade Shaves. Hi hey everyone, my name is Jade. Um, I'm currently a senior student in the dental hygiene program here at QCC. A quick background about myself, I've been, I've been a student here for about five years. In those five years, I've attained a degree in general studies um, and also a license in dental assisting. I am ready to graduate in May of 2022 with a license in dental hygiene. I want to thank you all for allowing me to speak today. It's truly a pleasure. So I'll start by saying um, the merging of our dental clinic with the Central Mass Agency on Aging is such a unique opportunity. I believe it, it will become an invaluable part of our dental program. It will be so beneficial to both the senior patients and the students alike. In our dental clinic, we see a variety of patients, everyone from children um, to our elderly. And however, I would say that a large majority of our patients are of the senior age. If you were to ask any of us dental hygiene students what concerns are expressed most by our elderly patients, we would, give all, we would all give similar responses. Um, as mentioned before, the two main barriers of care expressed by our senior patients are transportation difficulties as well as cost of care. Some of our elderly patients do not have means of transportation. The new program will provide free transportation for them to get to and from their appointments here at the clinic. Dental care can be expensive, which may also deter some of our elderly population from seeking the care they need and also deserve. Breaking down these barriers of care through this new senior dental program will allow more seniors to seek the dental care they need. Um, it's so important to attend your regular dental visits, as everyone mentioned before, um, simply because our oral health reflects our whole systemic health and vice versa. It's like a mirror for the rest of the body. Um, it's definitely a necessity for our body's overall well-being and that is why it's so important to attend our appointments regularly. Being able to knock down some of those barriers faced by our senior patients will allow our current patients to continue coming back and help us welcome new senior patients aboard. Working with the Agency on Aging will also be highly beneficial to the students in the clinic. As we age, our oral health typically becomes more complex. We see things like greater bone loss, greater tooth loss, and a more extensive dental history amongst our elderly population. Being able to care for more senior patients in the clinic will allow us students to gain a lot more experience with complex oral health conditions. Um, having this extra experience will just help us help set us up that much more for success in our careers after graduation. So on behalf of the hygiene students, it is such an honor for QCC to be able to work side by side with the Agency on Aging. Um, I am sure the future students, our class as well, and the uh, senior patients alike will be so grateful. The positive impacts the new program will have on the um, community are limitless. So thank you so much for allowing me to share my thoughts with you guys today. It was truly an honor. And now I am uh, happy to introduce our dental hygiene program coordinator, under whose guidance over many years we have enjoyed great success with our dental program. Jane Gothier. Thank you, Cheryl, very much. It is truly a pleasure to be here today to take part in this amazing event. On behalf of Quinsigaman Community College, and the dental hygiene faculty, staff, and student body, I would like to express how excited we are to take part in this initiative in partnership with the Central Mass Agency on Aging, a partnership that will provide the much needed preventative oral health services to our most revered population, our senior citizens, a partnership that will allow the students of QCC 
the opportunity and the privilege of working with the seniors in our community. For that, we are grateful. I would like to thank Congress Congressman McGovern for his support with this initiative, Dr. Dixon with the Central Mass Agency on Aging, who initiated this partnership this past summer. I would also like to thank our president, Dr. Pedraja, Yellow Cab, for working with the agency to provide transportation for our seniors, and all the key players who worked diligently to bring this initiative to fruition. For these people, we are grateful. Before we conclude this morning, we'd like to invite those who are interested to tour our dental hygiene clinic, which is directly across the hall. Due to COVID-19 safety protocols, we will be offering tours in groups of four, and we will ask that you keep your masks on at all times. Thank you very much. <laughs>